Today we're going to create a simple Halloween themed game. Uh, it's going to have candy falling from the top and then we'll have our skeleton or our character that goes back and forth across the bottom and attempts to catch it or shoot it. Um, you can kind of decide what you want to do on yours. I'm going to provide options for, for both. Uh, but this is a real simple game, but since Halloween is just right around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to have a little bit of a themed game. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a new project. Now this project, we're going to have the game just be within the window, so it's not going to have this large screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my layout size to match my window size. So it's this 854 by 480. So if I just click on my layout, I can change that. Uh, so again, it's going to be 854 by 480. And then what you'll notice is, is that it matches the window size perfectly. So this will be the whole size of our game um, that we're going to create. So things, the candy will come from the top and then we'll have our character go across the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is load a background. So I'm just going to use a sprite. Now you can use a tiled background if you have something that's tiled. Uh, but I have this themed one here uh, which fits nicely on the screen. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. And we're going to just stretch it so it just fits on the screen. Uh, but since this fits the whole thing, we don't want this one tiled. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a uh, sprite for this. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this background so I don't get confused, although it will be hard to get confused. Now that we've got the background there, let's go ahead and add a couple more sprites. The first sprite we're going to add is going to be our character that's going to go across the bottom. Now you can download any character that you want. I'm going to use this skeleton here. He's just standing there with his hands up, uh, about ready to capture and catch candy. So let's just go ahead and scale him a little bit. Now he's a little bit light. He kind of fades into the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my background opacity to about 50%, just so that we can see him a little bit better as he goes back and forth across the screen. 50% um, might be a little bit high. Let's try 75 instead. There we go. So now we're going to be able to see our skeleton go back and forth on this background. Now let's go ahead and name him, and I like to call my heroes hero just so that they're consistent. Uh, that way we know which character is which. Now let's go ahead and create our candy. So we're going to create a sprite, and we're just going to place this off the screen. Uh, now you can use any candy that you want. I'm going to go ahead and just use this Almond, Almond Joy for now. And then we're going to want to scale this a little bit because it's a little bit large. So let's go ahead and make that about that big, so then he'll be able to catch that. And we're going to leave this off the screen since we don't want it to show up originally and then we're going to call this candy or you could call it reward. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some behaviors. So our candy is going to get two behaviors. The first behavior is going to be physics because we want it to fall. We want it to fall using physics. And the second, oops I closed that, the second behavior is going to be this one called destroy outside of layout. Now what this is going to do is to start when the game starts because our candy is outside the layout it's just going to automatically get destroyed so we're not going to see it fall. And then if we miss it and it falls past our hero as soon as it falls to the ground here it'll disappear and get destroyed as well. So we don't have to worry about cleaning that up. So that's very handy. So we're going to go ahead and add those two. Now our hero is going to get two behaviors as well. The first behavior is going to be this eight direction and we're going to be able to set that to just go left and right. And then the second behavior is going to be one called bound to layout. Uh, we don't want our character to go zipping off the screen uh, and we don't want them to wrap either. So this will allow the user to press all the way to the left and the right and they won't go beyond the layout. Alright, so now let's set a couple of properties. Uh, the main one is for our hero, we want to set the direction to just left and right. So that will only allow us to go left and right. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to set the angle to no. Um, what happens is if you don't set this to no is when you press left, he's going to turn to go left and when you go right, he's going to turn to go right, which we don't want. We just want him to go straight back and forth. So we're going to set those two properties. Then the other thing is, is because of the size of this screen, we want to be able to make him go a little bit faster. So we're going to set our max speed at 500 and we're going to set our acceleration to 1500 because we want him to be able to run fast across the screen. Uh, likewise, we want our deceleration when we let off the key for him to slow down quickly uh, so that we don't miss the candy. So those are going to be the settings that we use for our 8 direction. We're not going to set any additional property values for our candy at this time. Um, you may want to set some yourself, but we're going to add a couple of other a couple other features in later, and we'll adjust those when the time comes. All right, so now what we need to do is automatically have our candy fall from the sky. So let's go to our event sheet. We're going to create an event. 
we're going to use the system and we're going to use this one that says every x seconds. So now I'm going to say every 1.5 seconds, so every one and a half seconds, we want a piece of candy to fall. Now where we want that candy to fall is going to be across the top of the screen. So I'm going to use another system event and I'm going to use this one called create object because we don't, we want to automatically create these each time. We don't have a place to spawn them. Then I'm going to pick candy as the object. And then the X axis, which is the one that goes left and right, we want that to be a random number between zero, which will already be all the way to the left, uh, and right, which in our case is 854, but we can just say 800. Uh, that way it's easier and they won't be all the way to the edge. And then our, our Y position, we just want it to be down a little bit. So I'm gonna say 10. And that's all there is to create and spawn that. So let's go ahead and run that and see if the base features work. All right, so now we've got our hero and we can move him left and right and we can see the candy is being spawned across the screen at random locations. And we don't have any collisions in yet, so we can't collect them. Uh, but you can see all of that works fine. Now you saw that candy was all the way over to the edge. I did notice one was kind of over here on the far left hand side and it was kind of half off the screen. Um, so we can adjust that if we want. So rather than using zero, we can use 10 on that X axis. All right, so let's go ahead and add some features to catch those almond joys. So we're gonna add two things. We're gonna create an explosion of the candy. So when we grab it, it kind of goes to using the particle, particles it spins around. And then we're also gonna destroy that. So let's go back to our layout and let's insert a new object, and this time let's use particles. Now you can use anything that you want for the particles, but I think it'd be neat to have the Almond Joy kind of go apart, you know, away in pieces. So let's go ahead and use that Almond Joy image. Now we are gonna need to size this, so let's go ahead and make this um, around 100 by 10. So it's gonna be pretty small. Uh, let's actually do, let's do 50 by 10, that looks a little distorted. There we go. So now we can see a little tiny almond joy. So when we catch that, those little almond joys are gonna go everywhere. Now they're not gonna be pieces, but um, you'll get, the, uh, I think the effect will work out well. So now we do wanna do one property change before we uh, add our event. Let's change the type of our particles to one shot. And what happens there is if you leave it on continuous, the candy just continues to uh, shoot and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and set that to one shot. Now let's go to our event sheet and let's create that collision. So we're gonna create an event and we're gonna say hero on collision with another object. And that object is gonna be the candy, not the particles, but the candy. Now the action is gonna say candy and we wanna say spawn another object. And that candy is gonna spawn the particles. So the particles are gonna create that explosion. Then the second action is, is because by default, the particles are gonna be going zero degrees to the right. We wanna set that so that it's pointing up, so it looks like they're exploding up into the air. And to do that, we're gonna set the angle of our particles to 270. Uh, remember, zero is pointing right, zero degrees is right, so 270 degrees is pointing, pointing straight up. Then the last action is, is we wanna delete the candy, so candy destroy. All right, so let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. All right, so let's see, let's catch some candy. There we go, we can see even, oh man, all right, let's wait for one in the middle. There we go. So now we can see the particles are exploding and the candy is going up. Now you can use a different image. You don't have to use the candy image. Uh, you could just use some, some red or you could get a piece of candy, uh, an image of an Almond Joy without the wrapper and have that explode as well. So there we have it. There we have our hero capturing the candy. Okay, so let's add a couple more things. Let's allow our hero to shoot at the candy and also shoot it as opposed to just catching it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a bullet. So we're gonna go create a new object and it's gonna be a sprite. We wanna place it outside of our layout, so let's place it up here. And then I've got this bone image here that we can use. And then I'm gonna resize this a little bit because it's a little bit large. Um, let's do 200 by 100. There we go. And we can adjust it here a little bit more as well. So we'll go ahead and close that. Uh, now that's clearly too large, so let's go ahead and resize that so that it's more kind of bullet sized. Perfect. Now let's also name this before we forget, so let's call this bullet. And now our bullet is gonna have a couple of behaviors. The first behavior is going to be the bullet behavior so that it will shoot up. And then the second one is we wanna use this destroy outside layout. So if we 
when we miss and it goes past and it goes up, uh, they don't keep going, it gets destroyed. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and, and we don't need to change any parameters or properties, so that's all we'll need to do there. And then I think we're gonna have ours rotate. So I'm gonna add a third behavior and let's add rotate right here, perfect. And then the last thing we need to do on the layout is we need to add the keyboard so that we can use the space bar uh, to shoot. So let's go ahead and add that and now we'll go over and add some events. All right, so on our event sheet, let's go ahead and add keyboard and we're gonna use on key pressed, which is this one, and we're gonna use the space bar. So let's press space. Now when we press the space bar, we want the hero to shoot a bullet up into the sky uh, at the candy. So let's go ahead and create an action. We're gonna say um, hero, and we're gonna say spawn another object. That object is gonna be our, our bullet or our bone. Uh, we can leave these other two values the same. Now, just like with our particles, we want that to go up. So let's say bullet, and we're gonna use the set angle of motion, which is the direction that it's gonna go to 270 so that it goes up. All right, so let's run that and see if it works. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so we can still catch them. Now, when we shoot the uh, bone, you'll see what happens is, is that rotate is causing it to rotate. Uh, and that's because I did forget to set one property. So this isn't gonna work out very well as it is because we kind of got this looping. Um, but let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go back to the game. We'll go to the layout and let's click our uh, bone. And right here on bullet where it says set angle, this is allowing the angle to decide which direction the bullet is going. Uh, we're gonna set that to no. So what that's gonna mean is, is don't matter, it doesn't matter what the angle is, it's just gonna go straight up and then the rotate will allow to rotate. So let's run that and see if it fixes it. All right, there we go. So that looks much better. So now they, they go straight up, um, we're catching them and then I don't have the collisions in for the uh, bullets just yet. So, so there we go. So now we've got our bones being shot up. Let's go ahead and add the collision. All right, so back on our event sheet, let's go ahead and say bone on collision with another object. And that object is gonna be the candy. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did when our hero collided with the candy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and spawn the particles. So candy, spawn another object. The object is gonna be particles. And then we're gonna set the particles to go up. So particles, set angle, 270. And then the last thing we wanna do is we wanna say candy destroy. Now, if we don't want our hero to collect them anymore, uh, we can actually just delete this right here. So if we only want them to be able to shoot the candy and not collect the candy, uh, we can just go ahead and delete this event right here. So let's just give this a test to make sure our, our bullet on collision with candy works. All right, so let's test this, so let's shoot. There we go, so you can see that when the bone hits the Almond Joy, it does create the explosion and the, um, the bullet actually keeps going. We can, we can destroy that bullet too if we just want it to be one shot, although it doesn't really matter on this game since they're not coming down very fast. Um, so there you go, so I'm gonna add one more thing and then we'll be done. The last thing I thought would be neat would be to have obstacles for the candy to bounce off of. Uh, because they're using physics, they're gonna have that property. Uh, and we don't have to create anything special with this. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and use a sprite. So let's just go ahead and create a sprite. And, and we're not gonna use, uh, I'm just gonna color it in because we're gonna make it uh, invisible so that you can't see where these collisions are. And then I'm gonna set a handful of them on the screen. So, and these are probably too big. Let's make those a little bit smaller. Um, I'm gonna make them 25 by 25. All right, so now if a candy hits one of these, it's gonna go uh, uh, kind of spinning away. So let's call this obstacle. And then there's two things that we need to do. We need to add physics so that the physics will interact with each other. So we're gonna say physics to our obstacle. And then we also wanna set them to immovable, so yes. So make sure they're all selected so you can do that by selecting the word or the sprite uh, and then setting the immovable to yes. Otherwise, they're gonna fall as well. And then the last thing we're gonna do on that is we're gonna set them to initial visibility to invisible. Now, you can leave them visible if you'd like or if you wanted to put something on there as an image, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's all there is to it. So now when uh, Almond Joy hits those, they should go tumbling. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you want, you could change 
the density or the uh, friction or elasticity of your almond joy or your obstacles uh, to have them interact a little bit different. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, so you saw how the almond joy, if it hits one of those obstacles, it goes tumbling, and there you have it. Now you can also, like I said, if we change that elasticity or the physics, they would bounce. Uh, they could be bounced all over the place. Um, oh, and there's one where it gets stuck. <laughs> had not taken that into consideration. You can rotate your blocks a little bit so that they won't get stuck. Otherwise, you can just leave them there and you have to shoot them. So that concludes the game for today. Uh, lots of areas where you can make some adjustments and tweaks. You can create a score, for example. You can have bombs fall that you have to avoid. Um, all kinds of interesting things. So good luck. Let me know how it goes.